Oh man, I love doing the damn thing. Oh, hey sport. My name's Warren Grimes. You know, you seem pretty mature for your age. Sorry about your dad. One thing I've been doing with my son is drone. Shot. Yeah, man, like photography. Yeah, you get it. Uh, one question before you sign away your life. You like gaming? Get the fuck out of here. And this is the reality we inhabit, all thanks to US Army Esports. A really obvious recruitment scheme because we were apparently that stupid. Saying it's no more than a recruitment platform isn't some wacky flat earth Mirrors aren't real conspiracy theory, by the way. Oh, this military account called US Army Esports are newest effort. Are they just an unaffiliated fan page? Do they just really like war crimes? What What's going on here? Uh, that's on me, guys. I thought they weren't fucked up and evil. You might be worried about this video being bogged down by ethics and politics. I just mostly want to share why this is the funniest thing ever made. Now, like the post shows, they launched in late 2018, primarily using shooty games as their focus, which I, I can't parse why. But that year is important because in 2018, esports was the thing in North American gamer culture, okay? I mean, the League of Legends North American League franchise leading to a permanent future from the 10 teams that signed up. Half of them are no longer in the league. Not only that, the Overwatch League also opened up. They are now paying teams to leave it. Finally, North American CSGO won their first major. The spam bot I sent that meme to just didn't get it. Point is, no matter how much reaping sucks, sewing was pretty cool, pretty big, and most of all, pretty damn lucrative. Not even for just the money aspect, which was obviously pretty great, but the prestige of being on the big stage playing video game was enticing. But what if you didn't need to be the next faker lift to do so? What if you just needed to be army guy? Now obviously, as fucked up as the world is, I am not going to judge people for joining the army. But a lot of the blame of anyone on US Army Esports is usually hand waved as lol mal, we just really love gaming while we happen to be soldiers. What's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with this is you're using this sense of prestige and belonging and saying, to get this, join the army, what are you fucking stupid? While US Army Esports thinks it has plausible deniability, it really doesn't. And Navy Esports also thinks it does, but it's much worse at this. U.S. Army Esports only committing actual crimes? That's stupid. We'll focus on how we committed war crimes in the past and glorify it. That, that's just awesome. But remember, this isn't a recruitment scheme. We're not here to recruit anybody. We just want to connect with the gaming community and be a good representative of the Navy. But we, we do realize, right, naturally when people watch it and they hear all these things, you know, our lives, they might be interested in joining the Navy. And we're happy to point them in the right direction, right? You can go to Navy.com. The last really cool thing about the Navy branch is uh, there's official Navy documentation now saying ban trolls. And you're gonna find out later why they can't really do that. I absolutely understand individuals participating in this, maybe not being really informed or really aware of what they are really doing and lashing out at people. I do not expect this exchange. Yeah, congrats to our players. Lol. This is funny. What? Why is it funny? It's funny because you are announcing an achievement from two players who aren't even repping your organization while competing. I yeah, am a player yeah, I'm for a regiment, player for regiment. GG. Let's really ask them because their Twitter bio does not mean a thing? What? And then the official account comes in and says, yeah, they rep both organizations. 
So they're both. So they're allowed to post that. What is going on? Anime memes and we're proud of our players. Trying to make people believe you're just another Cloud9, another TSM is crazy. Let's be clear. If the US Army's esports team isn't dominating every tournament, the brand should be abolished. There's no excuse for actual soldiers to be losing in Counter-Strike to 26-year-olds with a pussy natural energy sponsor. Let me be more clear, they're doing this expecting a return. And of course I'll be missing context for a lot of the oldest posts considering they're 5 years old on Twitter and they love banning people. But when you post this... I, I I don't know, it just feels weird. <laughs> and when it's so transparent that the fucking Flat Earth Society ratios you about this obvious ploy, it's not gonna work. Or that's what I'd say if it wasn't somehow still active. Do you honestly believe they're putting taxpayer dollars at work to sponsor Smash Brothers tournaments? because they really believe in gaming. And people pointing out this obvious shit were blocked from their accounts on Twitter and banned from their chat on Twitch. Except you can't really do that. And suddenly there was nothing stopping people from pogging about World of War crimes in chat. Just use a fake chat at that point, brother. I hope you're not looking at the real one. This is of no use to you anymore. Unlike my community who loves me, please subscribe. Now if you want to pretend this purely is an esports team, which I believe is disingenuous, they seem close to what Panda Global was and what Luminosity currently is throwing tournaments, getting good enough players, and injecting cash into the scene. Now I'm having to rewrite pretty much my entire conclusion due to the fact that I found out these lands have mostly stopped. And I do mean mostly though, because they still pop up very infrequently, and when they do, they should not be supported. Because let's think about the logistics of this. They aren't getting the money from the fucking ether. They're getting it from US taxpayers and they're building that pot just to hope that someone really mature for their age with a good head on their shoulders happens to walk in without parents. Those are still absolute dog shit, but I'm seeing mostly now. They play in closed leagues, mostly with other military branches. So is this not a recruitment scheme anymore and just a benefit for soldiers? It's a recruitment scheme. But it seems less egregious than 2018 to 2020 when it really was at its worst. I still think this is bad. I still think this is a recruitment scheme. I still think this shouldn't exist. But I'm no longer going to just hate on anybody outwardly facing associated with it. Because maybe it is just a fun little soldier's benefit. I don't know. It still is fucking weird though. I am praying with all my heart that it's like this now because it didn't work. But it probably did. It's not a